guys welcome back to my channel so today you can probably tell by the title that this is an October favorites video so it's everything that I've been loving this month so I think I'm just gonna dive straight in the first thing is actually a gift that my best friend bought for me um, she came up for the weekend and she had got me a gift and I was just like you're so sweet so yeah it's this little marble pot um, this is from Oliver Bonus and it has this like cute little rose gold lid and it's just like really heavy white sort of marble I think it's real marble I don't really know but it's really really pretty and it's gonna look so beautiful in my bedroom with all of my new bits and bobs that I'm currently collecting so if I can find this online I will link it down below I'm gonna feel kind of bad that I'll know the price but such is life I'm really sorry about all the noise outside if you can hear that my street is basically like a builder's yard at the moment everybody is having something done to their house except for me of course so the next thing is something that I've been super excited about and it is my new MacBook. Now I got a secondhand MacBook just because I'm sort of new at all this YouTube stuff. I've got a blog and everything and the computer that we have is terrible. Adam's still using it and it's so frustrating and I feel so bad because he's working away on that and it's so slow, like heartbreakingly slow. So I have been so happy to be able to work on my new Mac. This was from eBay and I think it was like £340, which I just think is so good. And it's in such good condition, like there's not a mark on it, it runs really really fast, it is just brilliant. I mean one day I'm sure I'll upgrade to a newer one, but for now this suits me just fine. So if you are after a Mac and you are sort of just starting out with YouTube, then you know, go to eBay, find find a reputable seller, find someone that's got really good reviews and you'll be fine. I've had no problems with this whatsoever and as you can see, it looks beautiful. So next I think I'm going to move on to beauty and the first product is Fleur de Force's Eyelore Lashes. Now these are, which ones are these? Oh these are the three quarter length lash so they don't they're not like as long and i've got quite small eyes so these are amazing for me i don't have to cut them down they look so incredibly natural oh my god there's a cement mixer i mean come on guys i'm trying to film a video <sighs> anyway these i really like these they're lovely very natural looking and i think they're on the five pound mark i got these from boots the next beauty bits are some more cosmetics that i've been loving uh, the first one is the Rouge Velvet Lipstick by Bourjois. This is shade number 8 and this is such a beautiful red tone. I'll film some swatches and pop those in as well. But I absolutely love this lipstick. It's just so pretty, such a lovely bold red. It's definitely got some like blue tones in it which is really nice for if you're trying to make your teeth look whiter. Uh, so yeah, absolutely loving that one. I'm really sorry as well, I've got a bit of a cold. <laughs> the next product is a L'Oreal Paris lip paint this is the what color is this hmm this is 208 off white and again i will put in some swatches of that one it is basically just a liquid lip i love the color it's so 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 pretty um i don't know if it's kind of drying like i'm trying to figure out if it's drying my lips out or if it's just the change in weather but I'll get back to you with that one. <laughs> but I love the colour, I think it goes on really, really well, and it's very creamy, but I do think once it dries, which takes a while, it does, I don't know, it kind of goes a bit cakey like foundation can. Uh, the next product is something that I've repeat purchased. This is the third one I'm on now, and I just think it is the best mascara ever. And it is the L'Oreal Paris False Lash Sculpt Mascara, it's the one I'm currently wearing and I just think this is such a great mascara. It, I think it has like those little fibres in it that attach themselves to the ends of your lashes to make them longer and fuller, which I just, I absolutely adore. I just think this is such a great mascara and I've used, what one did I used to get? I used to get the, what's it called? Oh, that's going to really annoy me. Oh, the Benefit They're Real. I used to get that one. And I actually think this one's better. And this one is about £10, I'd say. So, yeah, if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to that one, this one's 
really great. Okay, so next I'm moving on to skincare and a product that I've totally and completely fallen in love with is the Clinique Take the Day Off. Um, this is the cleansing oil. I have actually been using it wrong for a while. I thought that you used it on um, a cotton wool pad and just took your makeup off with that, but you apparently rub it in your face and then wash it off. Silly Becky. <laughs> um, but yeah, I originally got this sent to me, I believe, like a small sample size and I absolutely loved it and it's the only thing that hasn't broken me out so I had to go and buy it. This one was £22 um, and then the lady in the store obviously told me that there was an offer on so of course I had to buy two things. So I actually went in with the um, dramatically different moisturising gel and I really like moisturising gels, I just think that they feel so cooling, they feel so light and this one's, it's like one of those ones that's really hydrating and I do get really really dry under eyes and I get sort of drier patches around my cheeks um, so this has been really lovely so far and I've really really enjoyed this using this moisturiser I've gone through quite a lot of moisturisers this year and I am definitely going to buy this one again, I just think that it's it's beautiful it's for um combination oily to oily skin and i just think it's great it's really good but this this for me is amazing it's literally the first product ever in my 29 years that hasn't broken me out obviously i didn't have spots when i was a baby what a stupid statement to make <sighs> anyway <laughs> so yeah this is so great it doesn't break me out and it's honestly the first thing i think this might be the first time bar today because I've only just started using it again I ran out of the um, I, ra I ran out of the sample one and then I went back to my old one and I immediately broke out but before that not one single spot on my face which is unheard of completely unheard of so yeah I would definitely definitely recommend this one it is lovely I love it okay so I've probably moved because my camera died of course and now the mixer is even louder so I'm gonna have to shout over that you pick your days, guys. Nothing all week, and now this. <sighs> anyway, now I'm moving on to fashion. So, I have basically lived in this. I absolutely love it. I just think it's amazing, and it was a bargain, and I adore it. So this is a t-shirt from Topshop, and it says, you make me smile, with a little smiley emoji. What I love about this t-shirt is this is embroidered, which is kind of rare, like usually it's printed on. And for 12 pounds, yes, I said 12 pounds, from Topshop, not in the sale. <laughs> um, it's an absolute bargain, it's just so beautiful. I got it in a size 16 because I want it to be slightly oversized. And then I have been tucking it into a skirt, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, I just, I love this so much. I think it's gorgeous. It's got little, oh, it's got little rolled up sleeves. Um, it's nice and baggy on me, which I love. And I just love it so much. I think it's gorgeous. So yeah, this is definitely the favorite, my favorite fashion thing that I purchased this month. I just, I adore it. But then there is a second fashion thing that I purchased, which is this black denim skirt also from Topshop I believe this one was £29 so I don't know Topshop have, is having some um, definite bargains at the moment so yeah I really really like the skirt I think it was £29 maybe it was £39 I'll find it and I'll link it down below for you but yeah really love this and I've been wearing it with the black t-shirt tucked in and then to go with that is a little belt which is not from Topshop this time this one is from River Island but yeah I absolutely adore this obviously I really want that Gucci belt but it's like 200 and something pounds and I don't have 200 and something pounds so this was a great alternative there was a dupe for the Gucci belt in River Island but they only had a size small and I'm not a size small unfortunately so yeah I just thought this was lovely it's got the gold hardware on it which I'm really into gold at the moment so this one's really good for me I love it I've just been wearing it with that um, black denim skirt and then with the black t-shirt tucked in just with a camel coat and then oh the transition of this is so great <laughs> I've been wearing it with 
these boots which if you follow me anywhere you'll have seen these uh, because I have not stopped wearing them I basically live in these these are a pair of pointed toed sock boots and these are from ASOS I believe they were 40 pounds and they are still on there because I saw them earlier on today when I was buying some more stuff um, so yeah I'll link these down below I just really love them I just think they're they're lovely they are getting a bit scuffed up now just because i made the mistake of wearing them to a really rough nightclub at the weekend and um, which you don't wear nice shoes to oh they're sticky we'll just put this down there and next moving on to books um i've just got one book this time uh i do need to invest in some more books because i have literally nothing at the moment but this is actually very different for me this isn't a normal book this is a graphic novel now um if you know me well you know that my boyfriend is an artist and he loves graphic novels and he's actually produced two so far but this is great i absolutely love this this is the second copy so this is monstrous and it's a graphic novel written by majuri Liu and sana takeda I think I've said their names right, I really hope I have. So it's about this girl called Micah Half-Wolf and um, as I said this is the second one. Um, I already read the first one, I read that on holiday and I was just gripped which is so unlike me with things like this. This this isn't normally what I would go for but I just like the fact that the, um, the main character was a woman, she was a powerful woman and it, it's kind of a little bit scary and I just I was really drawn to the cover to be honest I mean look how cute this little thing is but yeah I went to a, um, a shop called page 45 with my boyfriend and yeah I was just drawn to this I just thought I'd try something different maybe I found a new genre of um, book that I like and I think I might have done so um, obviously I had to buy the second one because I was so hooked um, but this is about Micah Half-Wolf and she's on the run from a coalition of forces determined to control or destroy the powerful monstrum that lives beneath her skin. So basically there's like a monster that lives inside of her um, which sort of takes over her body in the first graphic novel. I don't want to give away too much. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of really interesting characters in this. There's a, it's a really interesting story. I mean, some of it's quite gruesome and scary, but I kind of got past that. I mean, I don't normally like gruesome or scary. I don't watch scary films. I don't like gruesome stuff, but I just really love this. Well, I haven't actually finished this one yet. I'm reading this at the moment, but I loved the first one, so I know that I'm gonna love this one. And guys, is it really an October favorites video without mentioning Stranger Things? I am absolutely loving Stranger Things right now. If you haven't watched it, check it out. It's on Netflix. It's Stranger Things 2, so it's the second season and it's out now. If you loved stuff like The Goonies and you loved um, stuff like Back to the Future, I just think that it's definitely something for you and I just, I love the whole vibe of it. The soundtrack is great. The kids that are in the actual series are so fantastic. They're such brilliant actors uh, and it's just so enjoyable. Like, I love it. I love tuning in um we're currently binge watching we haven't watched all of it yet but it is so great and i can't wait to watch the rest of it we're definitely going to be watching that tonight because it is halloween today so i think yeah we're definitely going to cook some nice dinner get a bottle of wine maybe and dive back into stranger things because it's so great and with all that said and now that i've finished talking about all of my october favorites the mixer has stopped so now it's probably going to get quiet so <laughs> Yay! Oh my god. Oh, this is literally the only opportunity I had to film this and they start that, like the minute I start filming. Oh well though, what can you do? Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching and if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I was so, so happy that like 600 of you watched my last video, which is amazing for my third video. So happy. So yeah. If you want to see some more, comment down below, tell me what your uh, October favourites are and I really hope that you have a fantastic Halloween tonight. And if you enjoy the content on my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I also have a blog and I'm over on Instagram, I'm over on Twitter, love having conversations with you guys on Twitter. So yeah, thank you so much. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.